transplanting of teff will dramatically reduce your seed cost and increase your yield. For transplanting, you need only half a kilogram of teff seeds per hectare for planting your field. You need to raise seedlings in a very fine, fertile, and well-prepared seed bed. The seed bed should be located close to the main transplanting field. You need to start raising the seedlings 20 to 30 days before normal planting time. For raising seedlings, start with a 10 centimeter raised bed of fertile soil and make rows or lines that are each 10 centimeters apart. You can adjust the height of your rope on the supporting stick, further or closer to the ground, to get the distance from the ground that you prefer. Drop the seeds in the rows or lines and cover them with two to three centimeters of fine soil. Apply water and weed your seedlings regularly. Before transplanting, you need to clean, plow, and level the main transplanting field. Make sure that a day before transplanting, you apply sufficient water to the seedlings. You should only transplant when the main field is moist, very wet, or even saturated with water. Before transplanting, make a row at 20 centimeter intervals on the main field. Apply DAP in the rows in the main field before transplanting and cover it with fine soil. Put at least three seedlings in each hole in the row at a 10 centimeter interval. When your seedlings are well established, apply half of the recommended amount of urea within the rows. 30 days later, apply the same amount of urea within the rows. Transplanting will increase your grain and straw yield. You will also save 29 kilograms or more of seed per hectare.